Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for another list. Yes, this list is my most anticipated movies of 2020. That's right, a new decade, new movies. We are going to be getting some absolute corkers in 2020. <coughs> we'll probably get a lot of crap as well. I just first of all want to mention a few honourable mentions that didn't actually appear in my top list, my top 10 list of anticipated movies. They include Disney Pixar's Soul, uh, Fast and Furious 9, Tenet, not sure on that one yet, Godzilla v vs Kong, and Birds of Prey. So I'm sure some of them will be pretty good. You never know, some of them might appear in my top 10 list of, of best films of the year for 2020. <coughs> for now they're just honourable mentions right let's get on to the list of uh, my top 10 films most anticipated for 2020 okay number 10 is The King's Man yes this is the third film in the Kingsman franchise doesn't star Taron Egerton um, but this is more of a prequel. So this shows how the Kingsman organisation came to be. Uh, and it's a prequel. So I am really looking forward to it. It does look good. The trailer looks good. Um, it's always a joy to go back to the Kingsman movies. So yes, looking forward to that one. Number nine uh, is Disney Pixar's Onward. Now I don't know too much about it. Um, I do love a good Pixar movie. Uh, and with Soul and Onward coming out in the same year. This one has a feel that I kind of think I'm going to really enjoy. So Onward is my number nine. Number eight on my most anticipated movie is Black Widow. Yes, the first of the Marvel movies. Uh, and this is Scarlett Johansson's uh, Black Widow prequel. Um... Because obviously it can't be a sequel. <laughs> but I am looking forward to it. Um, I'm looking forward to another trailer. Because the first trailer didn't exactly have me hooked. Um, but I think it's going to be good with Rachel Weisz in there. Um, I think it's going to be really good. I think it's also David Harbour, isn't it? From uh, Stranger Things. So I think it'll be a good one. It's just the first trailer is not impressed me too much so I'm looking forward to another trailer. Uh, my number seven on the list uh, another Marvel movies that's coming uh, at the end of the year is Eternals or The Eternals with Angelina Jolie and I think this is going to be uh, this is a new a new take on Marvel this is going to be like the next bigger thing I think so in years to come we're probably going to have The Eternals on a kind of like a uh, Avengers Endgame kind of level. So these are kind of like the the new Guardians of the Galaxy, kind of you know the new the new rabble of the galaxy. Uh, so we still haven't seen a trailer for it yet, but uh, it's coming at the end of the year. So Eternals is my number seven. Number six is an Eddie Murphy movie. I don't think an Eddie Murphy movie has ever been in my list of top ten. Most anticipated movies. And this is coming to America. Coming to America. Coming to America. Part two. Or volume two. Whatever you're going to call it. Coming to America. I love the first film. The first film is classic. All of the cast are back. It's going to be an absolute blast. Um, it's just going to be so funny. And I hope it has the same comedic impact that the first film has. I hope Eddie Murphy really pulls it off, but coming to America, I think is probably going to be probably one of the classic comedies of 2020. The number five is probably not going to be on many people's lists. Number five is a film called Underwater, uh, and this is starring Kristen Stewart, uh, and I believe it's out around about February or March. Uh, this when I saw the trailer for this, this gave me an the abyss feel to it, set on a lab under the sea, 
uh, uh, there's monsters and uh, disaster and flooding and all that kind of stuff. So it does give me like an abyss type of feel, but it has its own vibes and it has its own classic look to it. So it'd be interesting to see what we get in it and um, what monsters we get and the tension, because it does look like it's going to be a really tense movie. So that's Underwater, my number five. Number four, you have to be quiet. That's right, A Quiet Place, part two. Love the first film. Um, <laughs> love the dialogue, <laughs> what we got of it. But uh, I just loved everything about it. The writing was fantastic. The acting was incredible. Of course, with minimum dialogue, you've got to really pull it out of the bag, acting-wise, if you want to get your audience. But I loved what they did on the first film. And uh, it was sad in places, but um, I always knew there was going to be a second film. I don't know why, but I always thought that, you know, this is something that we could maybe do a trilogy with. So I'm looking forward to A Quiet Place too. Number three on my list, who are you going to call? That's right, you're going to call the Ghostbusters. You're not going to call Melissa McCarthy or Leslie, whatever her name is. You're going to call the real Ghostbusters. <laughs> um, this is going to be probably a fanboy's dream. So far as Ghostbusters Afterlife is concerned. The trailer looks great. I love the fact that everything's been abandoned for like 30 years. Um, the cars like gone all rusty, you know. Everything's been dormant for so long and everything's starting to bubble up again now. And I think the cast is going to be good. Uh, we've got the kid from Stranger Things. Is it Finn? I also think it's going to kind of have a Stand By Me Stranger Things feel to it as well with the kids. So, yes, I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a really good Ghostbusters film. Yeah, I think it's going to be a really good, after all, look who's directing it. Uh, the cameos, apparently, we are getting Sigourney Weaver, we are getting Dan Aykroyd, uh, we're getting the rest of the crew as well. I don't know if we'll get Rick Moranis, but it would be good if we did. But uh, I don't think he does much acting these days, but um, that's definitely a film I'm looking forward to. Number two on my list is Wonder Woman 1984. I loved the first Wonder Woman. The first Wonder Woman is my second favourite DC movie of all time behind Aquaman. Uh, believe it or not, before Aquaman came along, Wonder Woman was my top choice, was my top film. Of the new breed of uh, DC movies, not going way back to like The Dark Knight or anything like that. But yeah, I loved everything about Wonder Woman. Gal Gadot, she is absolutely fantastic as, as Wonder Woman. And she fits that suit. She really does fit that suit. And um, I just love the film. And I love Chris Pine, um, his character. I don't quite know how they're bringing him back. Because he shouldn't be around in 1984. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, and he looks the same age in the trailer. So that should be very interesting. But yes, Wonder Woman is my second most anticipated movie of 2020. Now, what can be my number one most anticipated movie of 2020? This actually might not make it onto a lot of people's lists, or this might be quite low down. Um, but for me, this is number one. No time to die. That's right. We didn't have any time yesterday, and we've got no time to die. <laughs> the return of James Bond. Daniel Craig back for his fifth and final outing. Uh, we get a, a handful of cast members from uh, Spectre. Christoph Fox is back. Uh, it's going to be a great farewell for Daniel Craig, I think. We're introducing a new double O agent. Um, so that'd be interesting how they explain, you know, where he's been. And how she became a double O agent. The action looks insane on the trailer. I love everything about the Bond 
stunts, the motorcycle stunts, the car stunts. We've got the Aston Martin back um, and Rami Malek, who is looking the part as a Bond villain. So, yes, I don't know how they're going to end it. I don't know if they're going to kill Daniel Craig's Bond character uh, or whether they'll just he'll just go off into the sunset, maybe and retire. And then in a couple of years, we'll get another Bond. Hopefully Richard Madden. <laughs> That's up for debate, but yes. So yes, number one is my most anticipated movie of 2020. No Time to Die, The Return of James Bond. And I'm really looking forward to who's going to be singing the theme tune. Fantastic. So that's my list of most anticipated movies of 2020. Uh, stick down in the comments what your anticipated movies are. It's probably going to be a lot different from my my uh, my list, but be interesting to see what everybody else is looking forward to. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it by giving it some thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, comment and share and all the usual stuff. And I shall see you on the next video. Bye.